So we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. Now you're seeing Oh crap, this badge! Well, Conwyn Island, I, I was totally right! I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. I love you, Alex. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Congratulations again, dude. Seriously. I'm really happy for you guys. Can't believe I actually did it. Why'd you do it on the dive? I wanted it to be memorable. It's not that memorable. <laughs> I have to hand it to you. Bopping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. Never thought you were the settling type. I'm proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro. Bro. Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. Uh, one, I'm not that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. Still, we're over the top, bro. So... We're going again tomorrow? Uh, yeah. It seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Don't sweat it. I'll go down with you and we'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Bradder for Brayson Lee. You got a girlfriend? Uh... Not my strong suit. Hey, nothing to be ashamed of. We all hit our stride, eventually. Me, I popped out full sprint, dragged my mom right off the table. Ew. Dudes make too big a deal out of getting girls. Yeah, what's the big deal about girls? I, I don't get it. Right here. You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. 
Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. From the photos Alex took, you can see the flight badge on one of the corpses. That means the crew was from the Conwyn Island, smack dab in the middle of the Pacific Theater. Called it. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. Then what? Superstition? Is that it? Really? The dead don't sleep well in these waters. May sound silly enough to you all, but I was raised on this shit, and it sticks. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, sure, but, you know, nothing like what Fliss is talking about. Tell us a tale. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. He of the one track mind. The woman answers, I live here in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and insists her parents are upstairs. So they go to the top of the lighthouse and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine, then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. So gross. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it and he's still here in the closet. Ha, the husband, eh? So is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. 
and he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, it's so ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Get me on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> Ten four, good buddy. And I'm out. Get me worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. We have to get free right now. 
I'll be back for you later. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Jesus, Conrad. Why didn't you tell me? Wait, wait, no! <gasps> Alex! Stop it! Let her go! You bastards! Hey. Dipstick. Shut the fuck up. Hey. Dollars to donuts, it'll be Fliss and Julia breaking heads. Not the other way around. Flesh sure seems to be getting buddy-buddy with him. Did you see my brother? No, I didn't. I hope he's all right. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming.
just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Amateur hour over here. Fliss, I got this. Let me handle it. What are you doing, you idiot? Think about what you're doing, boy. Junker. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Olsen! Come here!
which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? Connie can take care of himself. All right! Shut the fuck up! There is no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. Hey, come on. We're just passing time. No big deal. Keep quiet. Captain says, shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. You try anything, anything fishy, and there'll be consequences. Get it? Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. 
Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> you appear to have saved somebody. A bold move that paid off. This time, but does this make the rest of your group more vulnerable? I dare say we'll find out, hmm? Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? You both agree. You're going it alone. Independent. Admirable. Possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte!
Keep moving! Sign up for a trip to Creek Town. I don't like this place at all. Pourquoi on se tire pas d'ici? Préférerais être n'importe où ici. J'ai vraiment envie de savoir ce qu'on va découvrir là. What are they gonna do with us? Il y a intérêt à y avoir de l'or ici. Son, y a une porte ici. Okay, all of you, into the room. Hey, it's pitch black in here. Give us the light. Place. It has to have something to do with the Manchurian gold. We're not far from those coordinates. So, was Manchurian gold the name of the ship? That'd be a weird name. I've seen some pretty weird names for ships. Mm, maybe they took a vote? We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Conrad went to get us help. We should wait for him. Well, I hope he figures out how to get himself to our new coordinates. So, what's the status of the Duke? I saw one of the goons take something out of the boat. Distributor cap. Makes the engine work. The Duke of Milan is a floating brick without it. We need to get it back. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here.
fuck? Give me a minute. I'm gonna see if I can get it off. This guy, Miller? That seems pretty spooked. Creeping me out. Et on a des prisonniers Ça va trop loin, tout ça. Vos gueules Fermez-la, tous les deux. Je suis votre capitaine, et je vous ordonne d'obéir à mes ordres. What do you think I can't get it open. Over here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Yeah, this is the way out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Sure, I agree. Fliss, want to do the honors? 